Hi guys, my name is Inej and I'm an artist and illustrator. And uh, this week I decided to do something a bit different. Um, I decided to take a character that I already designed fully digitally and do it in a traditional way. So I'm going to use um, as my media um, acrylic wash and also watercolors. So I'm going to use the Windsor & Newton Cotman water colors. And uh, as my acrylic wash, I'm going to use the Liquitex uh, uh, acrylic wash. I bought the primary colors of this, uh, but I also bought uh, as an extra uh, three more colors. I bought the fluorescent red, vivid lime green, and also the bright aqua green, which I think it's more of a bluish color, but they call it green, so I guess it's green. As many people know, for the past few years, I've been painting more in a digital way than particularly in a traditional way. So for me, it's going to be interesting to take something that I've created in a specific medium and to try it in a different one. So if you are interested to see how I get from this character like this and I do it in a traditional way, keep watching! I've started by selecting two colors for the background, blue and pink. This will work as an underpaint that will still peek through after I put down the final background color. I blend the edges to create a sort of aura around the character. A mix of blue and pink turn into a purplish color and create a final base for the background. And then I start using watercolor to map out the shadows. My camera decided to stop recording, but um, I basically just blocked the different tones for the skin color and back leaves. And I usually use acrylic gouache for more opaque colors and watercolor when I want to create a layering effect. I know a lot of people do use watercolors as a base and gouache as the final medium, but I like to go back and forth. Um, I feel like watercolor works really well on top of acrylic gouache to create transparent shadows. Because really the main difference between gouache and watercolor is the opacity. And when a layer of watercolor is applied, the white paper and any preliminary drawing underneath will show through. Whereas uh, when a layer of gouache is applied, the paper will not show through nearly as much. My technique of mixing the order of appliance of watercolor and gouache wouldn't work as well if I were to use regular gouaches, because they reactivate the pigment when you add water. However, since I'm using acrylic gouache, I don't really have to be worried about the colors getting muddy looking uh, because I know the pigment, once dried, will not mix with any other color. I also like to start adding defining details to the features before the final stage of the painting. Um, because it gives me a sneak peek of what the final result will look like. I continue adding layers of paint, highlights and shadows, as well as adding pixie lights to the background. I always love how they look. I 
I use occasionally a white jelly roll marker to do some precise highlights. I use watercolor pencil to do details on the leaves and features and to tie up the whole painting. Since the pencils are water soluble, I sometimes add a bit of water to erase the pencil strokes. I do think using pencils was essential to detail the shapes and to give them more dimension. I also added little balls of moss to give a pop of color to the painting. This character is called Pixie Leaf. She's a pixie that lives in the land of music. I created this character around two years ago. I sketched it first traditionally and then I painted it on my iPad. So doing it fully traditionally was definitely an interesting experience. Obviously it is a completely different process. Digital painting allows you to go back, erase things you don't like, experiment with different color palettes as you are painting. With traditional painting is not like that. You'll have to create thumbnails, studies to do it, which is also good and important, but it's an added effort, I would say. That's why I like to do both. Um, having that feeling of what will be will be is also refreshing. And because I've been painting mainly digitally for the past few years, Getting back to where I started gives me a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of peace and getting back to the, my roots, in a way. It's good to give your eyes a rest from screen time. I feel like because I work in front of the computer every day, having these breaks and do traditional paintings and using traditional mediums really helps me. It's just different and it's, it's good for my mental health. I decided to add a final layer of uh, watercolor to the skin because I thought it was too light for my liking. So I did a wash all over the character's skin. And that's it. This is the final painting of the character using acrylic washes and watercolor. So I hope you enjoyed the, the painting process. Uh, this is the final painting. Uh, it was definitely a different experience from uh, painting it digitally. The most interesting part of all of this was to change my process and get out of my comfort zone. Because my comfort zone for the past few years has been like sketching traditionally, photographing it, passing to my iPad and then just painting it. So for me to have to like test different, uh, do different studies to know exactly what I wanted to do uh, beforehand. It was a different type of mindset that I had to be in and it definitely like gets me out of my comfort zone and I feel like when I do that it's when I feel I can grow more. So it's when I challenge myself. This was not a particularly difficult painting to do, but it was a, a start of for me changing my ways and just experimenting with different types of mediums, different types of uh, ways of working and processes. So for me, it was a great uh, pleasure to do this and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are liking these videos, uh, 
I hope you are you subscribe and comment and if you have any uh, suggestions for me to paint anything use any to sort of media like feel free to let it uh, in the comments down below so I can know what you want to see next so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you next week. Bye.